Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the bedroom as I'm finally getting the chance to return to Lucifer. This is season three, episode 19. Orange is the new maze and it's been longer than I wanted it to be. So I'm trying to remember. <sighs> Chloe and Pierce, I guess are gonna start dating. Maze is gone after being cruel to Trixie. Now, whether she, she saw Trixie behind Dan or not, she said not so nice things. And Aminadil, Aminadil did not know that Charlotte was alive. And not only alive and well, but like working with the crew. In around. Nobody, nobody not once said, oh, by the way, Charlotte's now the assistant DA or DA or whatever she's doing. She has no memory of what happened. But she's corporally alive like no not one not one person hmm. <laughs> but i'm excited to get back to it and i'm so glad that you are here with me so we're going to get under the big cozy blanket because it is it seemed it oh i went out today in the wind my hair today is styled by the wind you will hopefully remember that if you want to full episode watch along is available on patreon and they're doing a new thing now I just see it in the settings, but I don't know how it works, where apparently you can put things in collections and just purchase the collection instead of a monthly subscription. I don't know if I have Lucifer in a collection yet, but if not, I'll I'll see. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I'll see what I can do to backtrack. But I also have with me today, my beverage is a um, whiskey sour, spiced pear whiskey sour. I should be specific because tis the season. Yeah, I think that's it. So if you're ready, I'm ready. And let's get to it. Oh, Jesus, Maze. Whose house are you destroying? It's Chloe's house, she's back. Why are we missing here anyway? I heard you moved out. I did, but I forgot oh, my knife. back. Not a blade, a knife. <clears throat> Forged in, I don't know, China. Ah, oh, right, priceless. Uh-uh. Who gave her this knife, I wonder? Or is she just looking for an excuse to come back? Green tea, coconut water. Worth the trip, at least. I can't find this stuff in hell. What do you mean, hell? Oh, she's going back home, home. I want to go home. You want me to fly down to hell? For good. I don't know if you remember, Maze, but last time I took someone on a celestial Uber ride, the detective almost died. Look, you you, you clearly need to blow off some steam, don't you? Yes, Take she does. Take your mind off Ameninda. <laughs> no. Linda deal? Wow. Wow. You went to hell for Pierce, a guy you don't even like, and you won't do the same for me? No. That's right. You are going to regret this. He did go to hell for Pierce. You know, I've been trying to explain to Trixie that there must be some reason why you hurt her feelings. Yeah, some misunderstanding, or at least I hope. No. <gasps> no. I just forgot some of my stuff. That's it. Can't you see that you're doing this to yourself? So now this is my fault? Nice, come on. Chloe, why do you seem so little hoo, a little woozy? Maybe you should go talk to her, you know? Like now. Well, I'd rather not detect it. It seems like oh, she wait. needs space, smiles. Is Chloe trying to get Lucifer out of the house? For you to... Yes, she is! Yes. <laughs> I suppose I knew you two were becoming friendly. I just didn't expect to see you here. We were at the beach. Mm. Yeah, to a beach murder. New case. I, I was going to tell you, but I didn't because I know how much you hate. She's a terrible liar. Well then, um, <clears throat> best of luck with your beach murder. Lucifer, why are you at the house? Would be the question I would ask. I'm sorry. I, I, I panicked because he's a co-worker and, and, you know, you're a co-worker. Maybe we should talk about some work. You know what I'm going to say? Boss. That's your boss. I don't care who knows. That is your boss. No. If you want to take it slow, that's okay. But from where I stand, I'm all in. Till HR gets involved. I was getting coffee. <gasps> and a guy grabs my arm kind of guy a tall serious black man bald <laughs> bald like in a 
In a very sexy way. <laughs> yes. You know him? Uh, no, no, just um, painting a picture. I can, I can see it all now. Mm -hmm, she can. She can see it all. It's a good thing you're not going to see him again. He came back. He did. Then he claimed <laughs> that he could fill in what happened in my memory gap. <laughs> you have to hear how crazy it was. He said Lucifer was his brother. And? Which I guess is possible if one of them were adopted and raised with a different accent. <laughs> his father would have to be ancient. <laughs> right. I mean, as if I would go running around marrying old men and then forgetting all about it. Maybe that's why you forgot about it. I don't think this man, whoever he is. I love that pause. That was a great pause. At least he believed he was telling the truth. That's a good way to phrase it. He believed he was telling the truth. She's been really self-destructive. I mean, oh, she's Chloe, good thing you found a murderer at the beach to corroborate your story. That's <laughs> convenient. How many people get murdered at the beach or are found at the beach having been murdered a year, a month? Oh, let it out, buddy. <laughs> Even though Pierce and Decker are totally hot together, I know change is rough. Miss Lopez, <laughs> please, enough. You and Chloe have this undefined something or other. Even though I'm Pierce and Decker, I mean, who we what gorgeous babies those two would have her die trying. Thanks for pepping him up. Mmm. Mmm. Is that maze? That isn't. That is maze. Did she find her knife? We told her to blow off some steam. Well, I was really hoping she'd choose Catalina. It's not, why are they looking at Lucifer as if it's his fault? He's not responsible for her. She's a millennial age old demon who can't control her emotions, but still. Is she her father? I was just gonna say, she's not his father. She is, is Lucifer her father? It's not like the video shows her actually stabbing our Vic. No, merely plucking her <laughs> knife out of his chest. And walking away as if it's no big deal. I'm gonna go and look for Maze again now. All right, great. I'm gonna check out a lead on our Vic's last place of employment, some winery called Monte de Oro. I'll go with you. Okay. Uh, no need, Lieutenant. Actually, on second thoughts, I think I should make 100% certain of Maze's guilt before I find and punish her. But will Lucifer punish Maze is the question. I I'm surprised that you date someone so on in years. <laughs> oh, believe me, Pierce is uh, well, he's much older than he looks. <laughs> And we all know that dating older men has its downsides, <laughs> performance, stamina, you know, the important bits. Okay, who's her? Well, I just hate to see you unsatisfied, that's all. What is he saying about himself then, Lucifer? Thank you for talking with us, Mrs. Channing. Please, call me Margo. I was at a winery yesterday and it was delightful and I cannot wait to go again. He was a good worker, quiet, never gave us any trouble. Mm -hmm. And did you all know he had a criminal record and that he was currently out on bail? That was my question. The way I saw it, Mike was a good guy. He deserved better. And did you notice anything strange? <laughs> uh, Mike was out at the time, so she hung around his trailer, then took off. And I told him he kind of freaked out about it. I forgot all about it. You forgot about something like that? Oh, oh this is lovely, isn't it? Coconut water. Her favorite beverage. I told you not to talk to Charlotte, and you literally did the exact opposite. Why bother asking for my advice at all? Mm -hmm. She's in pain because she doesn't know the full story. Whether or not she's my mother, Linda, I owe her the truth. So, and Aminadil is the one who's going to claim this responsibility? Hmm. Hmm. Out of all the players involved, I owe her. You mm -hmm. decided, Linda. Just like how you decided that we were over. Oh, what? What is this? What is this? Are you doing this because you think it's what's best for Charlotte? Or what's best for you? He didn't get his closure. Oh my God. You guys are so adorable. I can't even stand it. Oh, have a seat. 
Have a seat. Have a seat. Listen, you guys, if Maze did this, would any of you really be shocked? Yeah, no, there's no, no way. <laughs> Let me settle it for you. Mm. I did it. What is her strategy? Come on, boys. You know you want to. <laughs> I'm doing this because what I'm wondering, I'm curious. We have a video, a murder weapon, and a full confession. What is Maze doing? <laughs> like, hmm. Just like you're not letting your feelings for Lucifer get between you and me. What? Is there something going on between you and Lucifer? Was. Was. Do all your friends give you jewelry? Lucifer gave me this as a joke. He says it was the closest I ever came to penetrating him. <laughs> Which, see, we've never actually had sex. Never oh. mind. It just, it was funny at the time. Let's talk motive, because I cannot think of a single reason why you would want to kill that man. Who needs a reason? I'm just evil. This way, I'll end up in women's prison. I heard it's hell on earth, so close enough. She could get life in prison. That's a mere time out in her lifespan. Yes, yeah, true. What would they do if they have a prisoner that never ages? Happen to follow the victim to a winery? Sure. Drink anything while you're there? Wine. Now do you believe me? Yes. <laughs> I knew she didn't do it. But let's smuggle her something she can use to escape. I... <laughs> Take the sandwich. I'd love to chat with you, Lucifer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, she's got a question, Lucifer, about the mother. Maybe somewhere a little more private? That sandwich does not look that bad. <laughs> I just wanted to mention I met your brother Amenadiel. Oh, dear me. I bet that was a snooze. <laughs> so you confirm that he's your brother. Which means some colonel of what he says is the truth. It would have been nice to know that you were my stepson before I kissed you that night. <laughs> stepson? That would have been far preferable, Mum. Mm. My dear Charlotte. You said Mum. <laughs> I was your stepmom. Well, not anymore. Tell me what you know and don't lie to me. Fine, I, I suppose you do deserve to know the truth. But it will break her. Will it, though? Could it, though? It could go I either really way. I am the devil. My brother Amenadiel is a former angel. That time you thought you survived being stabbed by your junior associate, you didn't. You died and your soul went straight to hell. Your empty oh, body became a, a vessel for my real mum, the goddess of all creation. Once she vacated your body, you, Charlotte, came back to life. Eh? Right? There we are, all caught up. <gasps> If you have any follow-up questions, please do feel free to ask Amenadiel. <laughs> <Blech. laughs> oh, How are you holding up? is Ella in her oh, going to break through Maze's wall of defensiveness? Never forget how you helped my brother. <sighs> Even if I'm guilty. I don't think that you are. Honestly, I've never even seen someone look more guilty. But. But. I have faith in you anyway. Faith. Faith. One thing that you could do for me. Yeah, name it. I could use a hug. And steal your keys or something. Bring it in. And whoever stole the can could have also stolen Maze's knife, which means Someone's wait. Someone's framing Maze. Mm. What? When I hugged her just now, she hugged me back. What? She, she hugged you. Yeah. <laughs> what did Ella have in her pocket? Who would go to all that trouble to frame Maze? And knowing Maze would be there in front of the camera at that time. Yes, I'm trying to solve this case. You supposed to be here, ma'am? Oh, pumpkin dude. Oh, pumpkin dude. You have, uh. Miss Lopez, I've heard so much about you. Only been here a couple weeks and everyone says you're just an absolute ray of sunshine. Yeah, that's me. Just need your old uh, John Hancock and your security pin uh, to sign out that filing. How about a hug instead? A Lopez hug? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I've heard about those two. <laughs> <laughs> must, must be one lucky day. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, getting kind of dizzy here. Uh, okay. Sleep. Sleep now. Sleep. Poor kid. She ruined hugging. Uh, I'll, I'll take that. Thank you. Lovely. 
go easy on Mace. <laughs> I don't know why this blanket gag is so funny, but it is. Then why did she turn herself in? Because she needed something from this file. Where's the corner missing? Because that's where the bail bondsman's name and address was. A guy named Barry Hill. He's the one who posted the Vicks bail. Do we remember this name, Barry Hill? To go to the crime scene. You know, make her think that she was tracking a normal bounty. And that's where she found Mike Bilt, dead, with a knife in his chest. Yeah, and pulled it out. Why did she pull it out, though? That's the question. Are we okay? Yeah, yeah, we're okay. Oh, look, we'll talk about it later, but I have to go. I was worried I didn't go for a kiss. Duty calls, detective. Can't have Maze taking justice into her own hands now, can we? Oh, that is very true. Very true. <sighs> Kane's got all the time in the world, Lucifer. He can wait. She out cock blocking him at every turn. Why is there a gnome? <laughs> hey, get out of the lane, lady. You're blocking away the two-time league champs here. You don't recognize who this is, dude. So do me a favor, honey. Just stay there and look pretty, all right? You're going to get hurt, sir. What gives? It's going to be hard to put that up with your face moved in. <laughs> Just stay there and look pretty. Oh! <gasps> How badly would that hurt? It was smart, but would it hurt? As in, I was possessed by the goddess of all creation. <laughs> and you believed him? No. The way your eyes went would tell me that I should. What's my husband's name? Mm. Well, what's God. your real husband? <laughs> Free. Who was your real husband? Godfrey. Godfrey. <laughs> because right now, the only thing that feels real to me is that I was in hell. And that's insane. I mean, you can't actually be an angel. Oh, too bad Aminadil doesn't have his wings anymore. Because if I believe that, then... Then you have a lot to make up for. She took him back across the street to rough him up. Corporate guy called me. Yeah, I don't know who he was. He said he worked for some place called um Sebastian Corp. What's that? Mm mm. Barry's dead. Well, if Mays didn't kill the big Lebowski here, who did? Maybe somebody who framed her was tying up loose ends. But who has beef with Mays? Hey, everybody. <laughs> well, time to interview Mays' ex bounties. That's gonna take a lot of time because there was a lot of them. Hello. Tell us how you know Mass Kingsmith. She hunted me down like a dog. What don't you me like you got? She came from nowhere. Mm. Yes. What did she do to you? Everything. <laughs> and did she do that? No, she did this. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, detective. Fish caught my tongue. Jesus, Lucifer! Tried to tell her he already paid his parking tickets. Wait, she was bounty hunted for parking tickets? After she got me, she bought me a beer. She bought him a beer. She taught me how to make a shiv out of a toothbrush. <sighs> and you better believe it came in handy. He loves her now. She's a nice lady. <laughs> Lucifer's always going to be in the way, isn't he? They're a package deal now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter and jelly. So you fall in love with a woman who has a cat. And the cat it hisses all the time. You accept the cat because she's worth it. Oh, Dan. Oh, Dan. Lucifer's the cat. I'd just get rid of the cat. <sighs> You've obviously never met a lady who loves her cat. May has changed my life. She scared me straight. Winery gig. Way overpaid. Definitely fishy. Winery? What did he do with the winery? I want to know this. Is it important to the story? No! Ching! 
out of our hand. Is that stage running 101? Sebastian Corp? Really? Four months ago, I tracked down a bounty named Sebastian. Yeah, real dirtbag. It's her son and husband, brother, drove drunk, father. Drove drunk, killed a girl, and then fled the charges when his rich mommy and fancy lawyers couldn't save him. Turns out that rich mommy... Hmm. Oh, it's a winery. Prison not agreeing with mama's little boy? Sebastian is dead! The answer then would be yes. Killed in a prison fight. The prison you put him in. My boy is dead because of you. Um, maybe he shouldn't have killed somebody. You blame me? <laughs> sure, why not? Uh-oh. Sebastian's a saint. Uh-oh. And I'm just a big, bad, evil demon. <sighs> Oh, this guy. I'm like, who's shooting at Maze? Um, the wood's not gonna protect you, pumpkin. Let's help money can buy. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. And that too? I've done that before. <laughs> Drop the knife. This isn't you. Isn't it, though? We're all responsible for our own choices. And right now, you have to make one. But what matters most is that you're such a good friend. And I don't know what you're going through, Mace. I wish you would talk to me, but please, please put down the knife. You're the reason he won't take me home. Oh. You want a knife, Chloe? <laughs> <laughs> well, that... That had a conclusion. I mean, the old you would never have been okay with this. They brought her to Lux. They brought her to Lux. You have a minute. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> Just getting ready to check myself into the loony bin. Is Lucifer going to show her his wings? So we are here to make things right. Now, we can't undo what we've already done, but maybe we can help you move forward. She seems a little intoxicated. You may want to sit down again. Nah, at this point things can't get any crazier. Well. Can they not come out? Oh, there they are. They're so pretty. Catch her. Oh no, Lucy. We've broken her. It's real. I'm not crazy. But that also meant you went to hell, pumpkin. Uh. You know, I need you to know that he and I were, were good partners. We're good friends. And, uh, you know, I don't want to lose that. It wasn't a fair ask. No, it's, it's, it's also unfair of me to ask you to deal with this. Um, no. Uh, I, uh, new dude, old friend, in my opinion, no. You want to take me home? No. You can go off with your new boyfriend. However, you don't ditch your friends over boyfriends. Oh, maze. Well, I'm a big enough devil to admit when I'm wrong. Killer caught, demon exonerated. All good now? No. It's also complicated here lucifer and caring about humans always goes wrong feelings suck which was makes them so exhilarating take me home i can't i can't lose you nice oh lucifer that's a teach bit selfish just a teach bit teach bit selfish what do you mean not me too the detective i just saw her ride off with pierce she looked so happy. So, at least we have each other. I'm always going to be the consolation prize for you. You only care about me when you don't have Chloe. So feelings suck down below too, Maze. No one puts me first. Least of all you. Yes, I have thoughts. Maze, where are you going on a bus? Leaving town. 
What are you doing here? Yeah. You're angry that people you trust let you down. <gasps> oh, he's got a user. Which is why we should work together for a change. Why would I do that? I don't even like you. He's got a user. I can help us both get what we want. So what was interesting about this episode for me was it was basically just a big spotlight highlighter on all the things that Maze inadvertently, I don't know if it gets blamed for, but her feelings magnified. Lucifer always feels as if he's blamed for people's poor choices, when basically he's just the result of your poor choices. Maze is getting blamed for people's poor choices. She has been the punisher, but also the she is considered last with Lucifer. The only reason Lucifer wants to keep her up on Earth is so he's not lonely. Is that good for you, Lucifer? Is that good for Maze? Same thing with Linda to Aminadale. Did you want Charlotte to know the truth for Charlotte's sake or for your sake? So I understand where Maze is coming from. She's just dealing with it in a very destructive manner. Which is why she should talk to Linda because that's Linda's job to work her through this. And Linda chose Maze. Maze is like, I'm always second. No, no, no. Linda chose you, Maze. She broke up with Aminadale for you and you spat in her face for it. And Charlotte knowing the truth, yay, at least somebody else knows the truth. What is Charlotte going to do with this information? Will she continue on her journey of journey? <laughs> I can talk. Um, will she continue on her journey of bettering herself? Or will she go, ah, oh, I'm not crazy. This has happened. I'm just going to go back to my old witch which i don't why she, know why she would now that she knows that the existence of angel and god in heaven and hell whatever is real in this world that remains to be seen dan's character i don't know what they're doing with dan's character at all anymore and i don't think the writers know also he's just there he's just another voice to provide information to help the story move along and may's left because she felt used and then along comes Marcus Abel, no, Marcus Kane, Marcus Kane, to say, let me use you to better my situation. And she's going to go along with it? Huh. Hmm. <laughs> well, there we go. Episode 19. Hoop to you. I want Maze just to oh, feel loved once. And Trixie loves her. Trixie loves her. So will Maze catch a clue? Open her eyes. Choose different paths. Where was she going? I'm curious to know where she's going. Will we find out? I don't know. But I want you there with me if we do or do not discover that information. <laughs> so thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. Please leave a subscribe. Hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops. Leave a like. Leave a comment. How you felt about this episode. How do you feel about Maze? I love to hear from you all. But until next time. <gasps> Breathe. I'm going to stop and breathe. Drink some more water. I'm going to go touch my toes, walk around the room a little bit, and then you all come back for the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.